and I had nowhere to stay at that time. So they stayed with their dad and uh, their dad is a nice way to put it would be an alcoholic. State would like to call Reba Ledbetter. Ms. Ledbetter, will you raise your right hand? Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you provide in this matter will be the truth, the truth and nothing but the truth? I do. Okay, you can lower your hand. You may proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Ms. Ledbetter, you are the mother of Layla Ledbetter. Is that correct? Yes. And Jason Ledbetter is her father. Is that right? Yes. And the two of you are currently married. Is that correct? Yes. Are there any divorces or any other legal actions currently pending between you and Mr. Ledbetter? No. And when did you and Mr. Ledbetter? Uh... August 23rd, 2023. Okay. So almost a year now. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. And has your daughter been residing with you that entire time? Yes, ma'am. And how is your daughter currently covered as far as health insurance? As far as I'm aware, she's on Medicaid right now. And is there any other source of coverage available to Layla that would be at a reasonable cost? No, it would cost over $200 for me to put her on my insurance at work. And right now we currently can't afford that. And as far as you know, Mr. Ledbetter doesn't have any coverage available to him? No. When was the last time uh, you had any contact with Mr. Ledbetter? Oh, uh, I contacted him, I think like three weeks ago to ask him to please stop telling my daughter things that she doesn't need to know. Okay. When was the last time he had contact with your daughter? She's looking. Well, you're going to need to, no. you're going to need to, you're the one on testifying. So the information needs to come from you. Yes. Ms. Ledbetter, I don't even feel comfortable with her being in the same room during this hearing. So is there a place that she can go while you complete this hearing? It's a one bedroom house. When was the last time really? Miss Ledbetter. Sunday. Go in there. She said it was Sunday. What sort of contact did she have with him? She texted him. He texted her. Okay. And has, when was the last time they saw each other? The last time that he actually came and saw her in person was in January. Was he trying, when he texted her on Sunday, was he trying to make contact to visit with her or what was the nature of their exchange? I don't ask. Okay. That's her business. That's her dad. Has he tried to contact you to have any sort of visitation with her since January? No. Okay. And um, what sort of visitation do you feel would be appropriate between Layla and Mr. Ledbetter? I would like open visitation where he can see her anytime he wants to. She would like for his significant other and her kids to not be around. She does not want to be around them. She wants him to visit her alone. And I agree with that because that's her wishes. And I would rather my children, both of them, not be able to do overnights or go to their father's house. Now, you said both children, just so that we're clear, you have a son with Mr. Ledbetter also, but he's an adult at this point. Is that correct? Yes. In age, okay. yeah. But mentality, no. And um, you said that she does not want to be around his new significant other. Is there any particular reason why she does not wish to be around the significant other? From what she's told me, she does not like her or her kids. And she doesn't like who her dad is with them. She wants to spend time with just her dad. Are, but are there any safety concerns with his significant other or her children? Other than her being a part in what was allowed to happen at that house? No. Okay. When, when you say what was allowed to happen at that house, what are you referring to? Oh, my kids went and stayed for two weeks with their dad in December or the end of November in 2023. We had just come back to Leveland and I had nowhere to stay at that time so they stayed with their dad and uh their dad is a nice way to put it would be an alcoholic and him and his new significant other were drunk staying in their bedroom all the time and their bedroom is upstairs they were allowing my 18 year old son to sleep on the same couch under the same blanket with a 14 year old girl and my son was, we had to have our, my son removed from the home when he was 14 because of a transgression that he made. And him being 18 plus low impulse control, my son has mental uh, disabilities. 
along with physical. And he has very low impulse control. So anything could have happened. And my ex and his new significant other, which I'm pretty sure both were aware of his situation at that time, allowed that to happen, knowing that there was a chance that he could make a mistake. And it could end up costing him a lot more because of his age. So I, I don't I don't feel comfortable with my kids being alone at his home with him. So nothing specifically happened with your daughter, though, correct? No. And do you have concerns it's with cool. your son being left alone with your daughter? So it's, no, it's simply the fact that it. so it's simply the fact that they allowed your son to be in a room with a minor child, given his history. Is that correct? Sleeping on the same couch with the minor that and it put my daughter in danger of being taken taken from me if you know something would have happened because a second time around another child that would have looked really bad on me and their father and I I could have lost my kids and, and that, you, that, that terrifies me okay and do you have concerns with Mr. Ledbetter having your contact information yes I, I, don't, I don't care if he has my phone number. I just don't want, do not want him to know where I work or my address. Okay. Uh, when I was staying in Leveland, Jason would drive by the house seven or eight times a day. And he would say that it was him checking on his daughter. But he wouldn't drive by, but maybe once when Leala was there. He would drive by seven or eight times during the day while she was at school and I was there. So I am not looking to be having to look over my shoulder. And do you know if Mr. Ledbetter is currently working? As far as I know, yes, he works at something different in Leveland. You're talking the about restaurant. the restaurant. And do you know what his position is there? I do not. Do you know how much he earned um, working for not. something different? I do not. And do you know how many hours he works a week? I do not. Is there anything that would prevent him from earning at least minimum wage working 40 hours a week in any given job? No, nothing. And do you know if Mr. Ledbetter has any other children that are minors that he has a duty to support? Biological children, no. Does he have any adopted children that he has a duty to support? No, he is uh, just him and his girlfriend's kid or the, her kids. And are you able to um, communicate with Mr. Ledbetter and make decisions as far as Leal is concerned? He does not respond to me, so not really, no. No further questions, Your Honor. I pass the witness. Do you have anything else that you would like to testify to, Ms. Ledbetter? No, just want to put on record that my daughter has told me herself that she would like to stay with me. Ms. Boutros? Uh, the state rest, Your Honor state is rested and uh, that means they have no further evidence or testimony do you also rest miss ledbetter yes your honor the state is requesting that miss ledbetter be named as a sole managing conservator in this matter with the exclusive right to determine the primary residency of the child the state is requesting that miss ledbetter maintain the current government medical assistance uh, coverage for uh, layala uh, the state is requesting a medical obligation of $50 a month and a child support obligation of $221 a month based on the minimum wage presumption. The state is also requesting a retroactive judgment in the amount of $2,775 um, and with those obligations to begin on August 1st. And the state is also requesting a non-disclosure order of uh, Ms. Ledbetter's uh, contact information. Okay, Ms. Ledbetter, is there anything further other than what the Attorney General's office has requested uh, that you're requesting? Nope. Okay. All right. I do find that the parties are currently married and uh, not divorced, but are separated, and that Mr. Ledbetter is the father of the child, the subject of the suit, has a duty to support the child. I will name Ms. Ledbetter, the sole managing conservator of the child, with the exclusive right to determine the primary residence of the child without regard to geographic restrictions. I will name uh, Jason Ledbetter, the possessory conservator of the child. I will order a standard possession order for Mr. Ledbetter to have possession of the child with the, um, a restriction that there should be no alcohol 12 hours prior to uh, possession or during possession of the child. I will grant the non-disclosure request made by Ms. Ledbetter. 
Um, I will, except with the exclusion of the phone, Ms. Ledbetter is in agreement to release her phone a number to Mr. Ledbetter to facilitate exchanges. I will order Ms. I am ordering Ms. Ledbetter to maintain health insurance through a government health insurance program. Mr. Ledbetter is ordered to pay $50 per month the cash medical beginning August 1st, 2024. Based on minimum wage, I am ordering Mr. Ledbetter to pay current child support in the amount of $221 per month beginning August 1st, 2024. I will grant the retroactive uh, child support judgment $2,775 with a repayment of $50 per month beginning August 1st, 2024. Um, Mr. Ledbetter will be assessed court costs to be paid as billed by the District Clerk's Office of Dickens County, Texas. Any party can ask for a new hearing on any of the issues I've ruled on today by filing a trial de novo with the Dickens County Clerk's Office within the next three days. It must be in writing. It must specify the portion or portions of my ruling in which a new hearing is being requested, and notice must go out to all of the parties on the case. Ms. Boutros will prepare the order that I have entered uh, today. She will submit it to me for signature. And a copy will go out to you, Ms. Ledbetter, and to Mr. Ledbetter. I appreciate you being here today. Um, that concludes the hearing, and you're free to disconnect from the Zoom meeting. Um, can I ask a question real quick? Okay. The Her being able to stay overnight with her father, is that going to be in the, yes. her not being able to? No, she will have, she will have a, there was a possession order that I entered, which is every other weekend, every other holiday. The only restriction is that Mr. Ledbetter is not allowed to consume alcohol. Okay. All right. The indefinite child support was set without my knowledge or my consent. I wasn't given any information from the attorney general or either my ex-wife as to why it was set for indefinite child support. And from my understanding, the reason why they haven't is because there is no paperwork. I'm trying to figure out how does the attorney general come to the determination that a child is medically unable to without a medical uh, dossier or a medical um, examination and then just determine that I'm on indefinite child support.